those in authority. But don't fear them to where you do things that go against the word of God. Understand? Okay. This is the end of part one. Thank you for listening. Your angels are dressed with the whole armor of God, too. If you're not dressed, they're not dressed. You need to make it as easy as possible for them to go up and down in this horrible second heaven where the devil and all of his demons live and reign and, and torment, trying to block our prayers from getting from part three to one, two, three, first, second, and third heaven, all the way up and back, just like the book of Daniel, when the, when the angel said, I'm so glad you fasted, and it still took 21 days. So imagine... This is why prayers are delayed. No power behind them, no Holy Spirit, and surely no Bible verses to seal the prayers. You must have a Bible verse. You said, Lord, ask and you shall receive. You said, and that's like wrapping your prayer on its way to heaven. It's like sending the send button on the email. It's like putting the stamp on the envelope. If there's no stamp, it'll eventually go when someone finds the envelope and, and sends it. It'll eventually go when someone remembers to push the send button prayers take forever we have to seal everything with the word of god inside the word of god is ephesians chapter 6 inside the word of god is the whole armor of god inside the word of god is the blood of jesus inside the word of god is the name of jesus he's left us so many tools to defeat the enemy and make it to heaven and make our life right here on this earth as easy as possible with plenty of funds plenty of health plenty of joy and peace and on our way to heaven and serving God every day loving the Lord you can have both wealth and riches and love the Lord so much that you you honor it's not what you <clears throat> excuse me it's not what you have it's what you do with what you have it's not look at me I have four fancy cars look at me I have four fancy houses da 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 look at me those people just might as well check it off and end up in hell it's the people that take it and say, Lord, what would you like me to do with this? Who can I bless with this? What would you like me to do to set an example for you? Live to please God with what he's given you, no matter how much it is.